So I've been playing around with Dipsic V3 for the past few days. And honestly, I think this is super fascinating because on one side, we have incredible technical achievements and on the other, we have pretty obvious political control. So let me explain what I mean. So first I want to quickly share why I think Dipseek is actually impressive, because the numbers are pretty wild. So first they built this thing for like 5.6 million, whereas OpenAI is rumored to have spent 100 million for GPT-4. So yeah, that's actually 95% cheaper. And also, while everyone is burning through GPUs, this fox did it with just over 2,000. And they got it done in two months. They're also using 11 times less compute than the US models, so imagine being able to do the same job with 11 times less electricity. But here's the part that I find really clever. They have this huge model with 671 billion parameters, but they only use 37 billion at once. So it's basically like having a huge team, but only calling in the people you actually need for getting the job done. And I think this highlights uh, three major implications from the way that this model was trained and then released. First is that China's chip ban have pushed Chinese companies to innovate. So basically they had to figure out how to do more with less. The second is that they are using OpenAI's own techniques against them. So DeepSeek actually thinks it's ChatGPT, and we can assume that they use GPT-01 to improve it. The third is that once they figure out how to copy ChatGPT for a fraction of the cost, then they open source it. Uh, so it's clear that they want to erode any competitive advantage from American companies. But here's where it gets really interesting because since it's a Chinese model, I wanted to see whether there will be some sort of biases or censorships. So I asked about sensitive topics like the Tiananmen Square or Taiwan. And in one case, it completely refused to answer, asking me to talk about something else. And in the other, it attempted to make me believe that Taiwan is part of China. So I think this is a reminder that AI alignment isn't just about safety, but it's also about the values and the political influence. Makes you think about the bigger implication of how those models are trained and which interests do they serve. Worth thinking about, isn't it?